Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to uh, see about Apache Zeppelin. Um, this uh, video series is all about, uh, I just newly hosted a video series for Apache Zeppelin. So today it's an, uh, this video is all about introduction. So what exactly an Apache Zeppelin? It comes under a uh, domain of visualization where you can uh, use it for any uh, data analysis and analytics purpose to create an interactive uh, kind of uh, charts, pie charts, graph and a uh, lot of maps you can, maps and charts you can able to uh, derive from the query. So it is basically a notebook, so a web based notebook. So it's 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 like normally, um, it's like a purely like a, a web based notebook, like a people who already work in Python, they would come to know like uh, what I'm speaking about. So instead of going with people who are uh, uh, very bored using a uh, black window to uh, execute all their queries. So Zeppelin can be connected to any traditional uh, data warehouse and database systems and also advanced uh, technologies like even uh, big data, Hadoop and other stuff like even NoSQL database. You can connect this Zeppelin so that you can execute queries in the notebook instead of executing in a black window. So here I am going to show you a demo of uh, how this Zeppelin is really working. And people always used to go with these kind of visualization notebooks and visualization tools to really interact with the data. So in, uh, we can we can able to provide this to the business user and the clients to really they because they are uh, not ready to uh, execute their queries in a, just a black window. So we have different environments. Like if you see uh, the data in the dev environment, then goes to test environment, then goes to production environment. So what we can do is we can install this across all the environment this Zeppelin and we can use it because it's an Apache and it's purely open source so there is no issue of uh, license or you are not uh, like uh, uh, crossing any compliance or something like that so purely you can install download and install Zeppelin supports for both Windows and Linux in the older version it is not support for Linux it means not for Windows the latest Zeppelin version it supports for Windows so you Windows you can use this Zeppelin and uh, like uh, people who already uh, means they have some good experience with respect to an IT industry. They are very well aware of like people will never use a black window, maybe 20%. Uh, more than that, they never they never use the black window to execute all their queries because it's a time consuming part. So people go go with some kind of an <coughs> a SQL workbench kind of thing for executing the query and also for uh, generating and report and visualization, they use a separate tool. So here with respect to any uh, backend side, the data warehouse and analytics side, if you see, at the end of the day, we generate some report based on the business case. So the report basically, instead of sending it as a text file or a CSV, we, use, we can also show them with some attractive charts and uh, graphs. So that's what the Zeppelin is providing for us. We have many other tools which is licensed and more costly. Rather than this, Zeppelin is also open source and more features they are adding. So we can use it, uh, this Zeppelin for all the attractive uh, graphs and pie charts to generate from the query we type. So <clears throat> basically like the crushers who are watching this video, I can explain you the thing is, uh, one thing I need to explain you the thing is, we always used to work with only black window whenever you have studied in college or you are working in a lab, but actually it is not the case when you enter into the real time cases. We need such a tool because there it's all about the time and we should not cross the SLAs. And also the providing, I uh, think the charts which we provide, it has to be very good and People have to be get attracted with the results which we provide reports. So that's why people always used to go with these kind of visualization tools. And this is comes under purely a notebook. That means a web-based notebook where instead of typing it in a CLI, that is a command line interface, you can able to type it in a uh, notebook which comes as a web application. So where you can execute the query and you can retrieve the uh, output in a five different charts, including row column. So as I said, Zeppelin is open source, you can download and it supports for Windows. So I have downloaded Zeppelin. So just you can, if you type uh, uh, Apache Zeppelin download, it directly takes you to the Apache site and you can download it. It's purely free for uh, use. And the only thing what you have to do is just go to bin folder and means through command line you have to do. I will show you through command line also. So you have to start this Zeppelin.cmd file, which is Windows command you can see here. Uh, if it is a um, kind of a Linux, then you have to start this one. It's a shell script. Okay, it supports for both. Now, thing is like the prerequisite for installing Zeppelin is you need JDK, that is Java 1.7 or 1.8. You have to install it and you have to set the path. So you can Google it to how to install and how to set a path. You will be getting it. So now, like I'm going to show you how to start this. 
So if you see here, I am inside the same path uh, like inside Jeplin. Okay. So once you have done with the JDK setup and you have to for sure you need to set the path in environmental path and variable you have to set. Then you can execute a command called JPS. It's a Java command, full form Java process status. It will list all the running Java process only. Okay. So as of now in my machine there is no Java process, so it just so. JPS, that's because that's a one Java process which is running. So the number it will change, it's a process ID. So once you started Japlin, then if you give JPS, you will get JPS, then you will get something called another daemon process called Japlin uh, daemon, something I will show you, Japlin server, something like that. Because Japlin is a Java process, it is running. So now I am going to start this Japlin. Okay, Japlin.cmd, if it is Linux, Japlin iPhone daemon dot sh, then space, you have to give start. Okay, and one more thing, uh, this Japlin is like a web-based notebook. Obviously, this Japlin it's giving you this notebook as a web application. Then it has to be get deployed in a, some application web server. It has its own embedded uh, Jetty server to deploy this WAR files, and I'm getting we are getting this web attractive web application which you can see here. Like this, we will be getting. But the thing is, you don't want to worry about installing an application or web server. It is coming with embedded. It comes with the Japlin, so you don't want to worry about it. Only thing is, the Japlin by default, it will run in a port number. So IP, you can give your own IP or it will take the host name of your machine that is local host, the default uh, host name. If you take the port number, uh, by default, it comes with 8080 as a port number. So 8080 port number is a default for all web application technologies, if you see. 8080 port number is always reserved by default by some application. So we don't want to take that 8080. Instead, you can change that 8082, 8081 or 8082 or 8083, something like that you can change. So that is another one which you have to do for as of now. So inside your con folder, you can see there is something called Japlin iPhone site. It's an XML file, but basically you won't see this XML file for the first time. It will be like Japlin iPhone site dot template. You can see the file only like this. What you have to do is you have to rename that to Japlin iPhone site dot XML. That means you have to remove the dot template. Okay, then you will see the file logo like this. Okay, some globe symbol. That's it's an XML file. Just open it with some editor. And you can see uh, there is a uh, second property. Okay, this is something a command line description. And in the second configuration property, you can see it will be 8080. So instead of it, you have to change to 82 or 83, something like that. So I'm, I'm just going for 8082. Okay, this is the only change as of now you have to do. Okay, so now go to command prompt and just hit enter. So this has to get start. It will take some time. First, you will get something like this. Some info logs will be coming. Then after some one minute, you will get the server up and running. So meanwhile, I'll be sh I'll just explain you what is this home page that Japlin has and I have restarted, right? So if I refresh it, it goes, okay? So it is taking some time so that uh, in the meantime, I will explain you this front page and you can see it's an offline, so I'm getting in red, it is disconnected, okay? So you have something like this. Uh, by the first thing is you have to create a notebook where you can type all your queries, okay? Even it supports your shell commands also. So where you can click this notebook and you can create new notebook and you can do all those things. And one more thing, uh, Japlin can be connected with various technologies as I told you, even traditional like MySQL, Oracle or any other data warehouse system or even advanced technologies in big data like Hadoop or Spark or any NoSQL databases you can connect. But the thing is we call all these external technology which we are connecting to Japlin, we call that as interpreters for Japlin. Other technologies are called interpreters where you can see here if you click this anonymous it's actually a username you can change it interpreter where if you click this interpreter let me check whether it's it's it started so that I can show yes it started so it says Japlin server started I can refresh it now so that you can see this hash is not required this come by default okay so now it comes green now it is connected if you click interpreter uh, what are all other technologies that you can able to connect with the Japlin by default? It's just list. So some Alexo and Angular and BigQuery and you can see Cassandra. It's a NoSQL database and a big data technologies. And uh, like you can see Elasticsearch is a search analytics and file a normal file you can connect and Flink it's a data warehouse framework like Hadoop and you can see Hbase. There is many other interpreters are there and even you can create custom interpreters also. If you see in this interpreter list, MySQL is not there. I have created it. So I can give just create and create. 
So now I'm going to show you this Jabbling with the demo with the MySQL. How to uh, see the visualized way of our query in uh, um, Jabbling, uh, MySQL for MySQL data. So that's what I'm going to show you. But there is some uh, configuration you have to do to connect the Jabbling with MySQL. That in a separate video I have. Uh, Shown. So I don't want to confuse that with this video because this is just an introduction and just I'm going to kickstart you by showing you some examples. So in the playlist you can find out the playlist link of Jeplin where you can find all the Jeplin videos where in one video I have shown how to connect this Jeplin with MySQL. It's a very easy step that you can see in that video. Okay. So now I just created, uh, I can search my interpreter if I type MySQL. Uh, okay. This is an interpreter which I created. You can just click create symbol and you can create. Like that, whatever the interpreter which is not here that you are wish to add with Chaplin, you can able to configure. But before that, in Chaplin site, you can check what are all the interpreters that Chaplin will support. Or in Google, you can just type MySQL with Chaplin, Oracle with Chaplin. If some blogs or content comes, then we can come to know, okay, the interpreters are there like that. Okay, now I am going for a home page. Now I am going to create a new notebook. MySQL, I will just put T. Okay, so I already I have created. So if, if I go for home page, I have already created my SQL data and Japlin tutorial is a page that comes by default. Okay, so now my SQL D. Okay, I get my page. So like this you can type your queries. So whatever the query you are going to type, for example, you are going to type a query with some other technology like uh, MySQL or Oracle, there is something you have to add in the header actually. So if it is MySQL, you have to do percentage MySQL. I can show you in the interpreter. See, if you are going to use this, this technology, then you have to put percentage this one, some Alex or something like that. And then you have to start typing your query. Like that if it is Angular, then percentage Angular. Then it is a big query, percentage big query. For MySQL, it is uh, percentage MySQL. So now, uh, what I am going to do is, I am going to give percentage MySQL. So now you can type your query. So I have already, as I told you, I have already connected this Japlin with MySQL. So I'm just selecting the data. Okay. So my database name is dev and my table name is station. So I'm just giving limit of 10. Semicolon is not required, otherwise you will get an error. So just click this run ready button so it will come as bending. Yeah, I get my result. And you can see the result comes in five different charts. Even more than this, you can add. Okay, many charts that you can download from Jablin site or any third party site, you can import those charts here. That is also possible. So now if you see this is normal row column and um, bar chart, pie chart, line, line graph, dotted graph. So you won't get this uh, bar chart and pie chart as of now because whenever you have some mathematical computation in your query, then only you will get all the charts, right? It's just a select query we executed, right? And you can see I have already installed MySQL in my windows. Okay, so I will show you that. Okay, so I have already uh, installed MySQL and I have loaded a, a patient record which has five columns and 30 lakh rows. That is 30 lakh records it has. So now I just limited it to 10. Now we can to test all these charts. I'm, I'm just going to add some computation. So select drug comma sum of amount from patient group by drug. Okay. So uh, if you see in my 30 lakh records, I have only three drugs that will be get repeated by the customers. So I will metacin and paracetamol. So what I'm going to do is, so I need to find all the uh, drugs with the total amount. Okay. That's what I'm going to uh, retrieve. So now I'll just give uh, run. Okay. So database not selected. So I have to give dev dot. Okay. Now run this. So since it's a 30 lakh record, it will take, just take some, some, some extra seconds. Okay. So now if you see, now we got charts because it has some logic, some mathematical computation it has. So now this is what a normal raw view, which even I can do it in MySQL also. Uh, you can, I can show you here. See, I have already executed that same query. Uh, okay. You can see. Okay. So the same thing. Uh, now if you see here, like uh, this is bar chart. Okay, I'm getting like this, even if you give uh, uh, something like this, you can see. And then even pie charts, uh, this one, and line graph, dotted graph, so you will get all these things. Even you can download this, you can load the sheet, so or you can take a snapshot of this area and you can send it to your clients or something like that you get able to do. 
there is many other tools available jpm is a new open source uh, engine especially for data analytics people are started using it as very good and many more enhancement is coming with this apache jpm also that's why people started using it as lot many customization is also possible so this you can use even in your dev environment to just type your code instead of typing it in a black window whatever technology or a shell you are using please check whether this can be connected with jpm just google it so i will be uh, going for what are all other technologies we can able to connect i will show you another uh, all those videos in upcoming videos so thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com we provide videos in two languages english and tamil we have we have many technology videos in my youtube channel just please have a look on it if you like this video please subscribe my channel forward this to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching a2zknowledge